Do you use PowerPoint to create Toastmaster brand content? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use themes to create a Toastmaster brand kit in PowerPoint. Let's get started. What is a brand kit? In Toastmasters, the brand kit is defined in the brand manual and the visual brand guidelines that I have opened here. This document specifies the colors that we can use while creating brand content. It also defines the logo and how it should be used. In addition, the document also specifies other design elements like callouts and the fonts that we are allowed to use while creating content for Toastmasters. How do we translate the brand kit in PowerPoint? Let me start with a blank slide. Now, wouldn't it be great if I was inserting some objects on my PowerPoint and the colors that I see here were Toastmaster brand colors? If I want to make this shape one of the Toastmaster brand colors, I have to actually go and choose the color manually by typing the code of the color. For example, navy blue, which is 004165. But that's a long process. Every time I have to remember the color code and the steps are more, so it will take me more time to complete the work. So the first thing we are going to see is how we can change this color set that you see here to the Toastmaster brand colors. I will start by going to the design tab. I see this option called variance and click on the arrow that you see at the bottom here. And this is where I can create my own variance for colors, fonts, effects and background styles. So let me start with the colors first. These are the various palettes that are available as default in PowerPoint, but I don't want any one of this. I want my own template. So I will click on the customize color option. And this gives me a set that I can create a brand colors. PowerPoint provides me up to six colors to be defined in a theme. Now in Toastmasters, we have only five colors plus the black and white. So let me start by defining the five colors. So let's start with color number one. I will change this to gray. And to do that, I will click on the more colors option and come to the hex code and type in the code of the gray color. But where do I find the hex code? Easy, if I go back to my brand manual, and I go to the page that has the codes. As you can see, the gray code is A9B2B1. So like this, I can pick up all the five codes from this visual brand guidelines and put them in PowerPoint. So A9B2B1. That's my first color. Let me quickly enter all the rest of the colors. So I have selected the five core colors of Toastmaster brand and the sixth color, I will set it to black, though I don't need to. The colors for hyperlink and followed hyperlink, I will leave them as they are because they are standard web colors for hyperlinks. For the text background, I can use again black and white because those are also part of the Toastmaster brand palette. And the second option has colors which are not from the brand palette. So I will just change them to black and white just to ensure that we don't pick up any colors which are not in the brand palette when we are designing the content. And I will give it a name. I'll say Toastmasters Brand Kit. When I try to insert an object now, let's say another circle 
you can see that already it is picking up the color from the brand kit. If I wanted it maroon, if I wanted it blue, black, any color from the brand palette is now accessible to me. What if I wanted to insert some text and change the color of the font to one of the brand colors? I say insert, let's say a text box. And if I want to change the color of this font to one of the brand colors, and I click here, you will already see that all the brand colors are available to me. This can help us to speed up our work. Next, let us tackle the fonts. PowerPoint allows you to define two fonts for the theme, one for the headings and one for the body. Currently, it is set to Calibri. If we go to the Toastmaster Visual Brand Guidelines, we can see that Toastmasters defines Gotham as the font for the headings, Lubelin for subheadings, and Myriad Pro as the body. The Arial is a font you can use if you don't have Myriad Pro. To set my fonts, I will again go to Design and the Design Variants and choose Fonts. And again, I will go down and say Customize Fonts. The first font is the heading font. I will change that to Gotham, which is here. And the second font for the body, I will use Myriad Pro, which is here. You may not have both these fonts on your computer because they are not part of the standard Windows fonts. I have a separate video which explains how you can locate the right Toastmaster fonts and install it on your computer. Check in the description below if you want to download and install your own fonts. I can name the set as Toastmaster fonts and save. When I insert any text, let's say my club name, the font is Media Pro. And if I want to change it, let's say to Gotham, I can just come here and change it to Gotham. So the two fonts for heading and the body are quickly accessible to me as part of my theme. The final part is to save this theme so we can use it for future. Once again, I will go to design. I will click this arrow now. And I have this option here to save the current theme. I will give it a name, let's say Toastmasters Brand Kit and save. The last thing we must do is go back to design, click on this arrow, and this theme that we have here, Toastmasters theme, let us make it as the default theme. The next time I open PowerPoint, the default theme is our Toastmaster theme. If I now click on it, you can see that when I try to type the heading, the font that will appear is Gotham. When I want to type the body, the font automatically comes as Myriad Pro. If I insert any shape, let's say a circle, again, I have access to all the Toastmaster brand fonts. So there you have it. If you use themes correctly in PowerPoint, you can greatly reduce the amount of time that you need to create Toastmaster branded content. I wish you all the best.